Lego Army units. These decaled units are actually from the Korean War. A pretty rare Lego figure to find. But then you've got more accurate Lego minifigures right here. These guys are from World War II, and they're just about as detailed as they come. But both of these styles of minifigure will cost you a pretty penny. Trust me, I would know. I have purchased a lot of them over the years. Cries an empty bank account. But Lego in the past has released this puppy, a cheaper version of an army soldier, a toy soldier, a toy army man, if you will. And today, we're going to be making an army man army out of Lego. And I've got some really unique custom army man products that you have to see. But first, I bought this, a whole package of green plastic army men. I figured we can't make an army of army men Lego without comparing it to actual plastic army men. Let's get it set up. These guys right here, they cost about $6 for all of this and, well, all of that as well. I got lazy and didn't set the rest of them up. It's really not a bad deal, especially because I remember when I was a kid, I had so much fun playing with these dudes. Creating armies in the backyard, making stop motions out of them. It is very nostalgic to see these guys again. So if you want a whole ton of them, just hop on Amazon. Meanwhile, this bad Larry back here, he's like a six or seven dollar figure alone, so a little bit more expensive to create an army, but let's uh, go ahead and replicate these guys out of these guys. Before we get into the Lego army men, I want to let you know that I have refilled all of the Daily Bricks mystery bags, so if you guys want to go ahead and purchase some on dailybricks.com, there are brand new ones available with tons of minifigs inside of them. Either way, we've got ourselves the single green soldier, but we're gonna need to reinforce him. Be joined by all of these guys, and these guys, and this, that, and this, and that. Oh, and don't forget about that. Yeah, I purchased a lot of these, including the original box that it would come in. I thought we needed one of these for example, but you would get a medic, a rifleman, another radio operator, and of course you get a Jeep with the driver. Here's the instruction booklet. It's already built, so I don't really care. All the products they were advertising at the time, if you're interested in that. Oh, and you could win! So I basically ordered from like 15 different lots on Amazon.com. Let's go ahead and get this army built. Here we go, boys! The tiny little army men army right here. We got six medics over on the right hand side over that way, and 20 standard soldiers over here. And we do have two of these jeeps to carry some troopers around. These guys did originally come with these little base plates, so you can stick them on the soldier and they're like actual army men. But not only that, there are a lot of different accessories. We have a mine detector, a radio, a gun, small little medical briefcase, and probably my favorite is this stretcher that you can actually use in regular World War II mocks and things like that. Especially if you just paint it a little bit with some uh, hobby paint. Could end up having a really cool Lego stretcher. This is just the big army men. And, and you'll see what I mean by big in a second. Because there are also little army men available, aka nano soldiers by Brick Mini. Let's crack these suckers open. They come in a variety of colors, but this is the dark green variant. Pour some light on that because I think my camera's gonna struggle to see something so small. There we go, zoom in real close because these things are tiny. And there we have it, a tiny little micro army men soldier for Lego. This one is a rifleman. We've also got a kneeling rifleman right here. A soldier with a grenade and a pistol. A soldier with a submachine gun and a grenade. Another rifleman soldier right here, but with his gun pointed while standing up. An officer with binoculars. A bazooka trooper. And a marching rifleman. Finally, this last trooper is actually very interesting. So it's a tank man, and then you can actually go ahead and build your own little tanks, and this is the hatch. You put the tankman in the hatch and it's like he's peeping out. Uh, and then there's also a closed hatch variant as well if you want that for your tank too. Which is kind of cool because they do sell their own micro tanks for you to build as well. So there's our green army, but I also went ahead and purchased a brown army and a black army. I'll get those guys set up right now. Here we go, here's the black army men soldiers right here and the brown army men soldiers right there. Three different factions, as well as the big old chunky boys. But now it's time to make them some vehicles. Let's go ahead and start off with the Tiger One Panzer, which I believe should have some more army men soldiers in it. Yeah, we have gray army men soldiers in the panza. This panzer tank is actually sick. It's much more detailed than even some larger scale tanks that LEGO produces. Well, 
like resellers produce, I should say. And the tank pin at the top is just the cherry on the cake right there. Plus it came with three infantrymen. So while the greys might be outnumbered by the other colors, they do of course have a behemoth of a tank. But what is the rival? of the Panza? The Shaman Tank. These are actually light green troopers here, I believe, whereas these guys right here are the dark green troopers. So we'll have another army men faction right here. I'll go ahead and build this tank. And here's the Sherman, baby. I do like the minifigures on this a lot more. They're like classic army men color, sort of. But the Sherman Tank leaves a lot to be desired. I'll be honest, it doesn't look nearly as good as this one right here, that the Tiger Tank looks so much better than the Sherman to me, but still, it's pretty good. It's a, it's definitely a very decent build. They actually sent me the wrong piece for right here, so it's a bit miscolored. Ah, but that's fine. Whatever. Now, I have one final vehicle to add to the Army Men Army. Boom, baby! A modern vehicle, the M1 Abrams. United States machinery at its finest. Well, let's get this puppy. Assembled. This is my new favorite. I love the Abrams, bro. It looks so good in micro scale right there. Look at that. Oh, she's an absolute beaut. And tan army men look fantastic in micro scale as well. So now we have tans, grays, browns, dark greens, blacks, and light greens, plus a ton of giant boys. So why don't we go ahead and make a mini little fight scenario on this base plate between all of these bad boys. I've even got a few toy looking weapons that we can use for these guys here too. Let's get her going. All right then boys, here we have it, a mini mock. So we've basically actually made it so all of the mini army men colors are fighting against the larger army men here. So the large army men taking a few losses up here, sending up reinforcements while also cover firing for a few evacuees up this way. They're getting flanked on this mini little canyon area by more of these mini little soldiers. Over this way we have an overturned jeep where we have a few soldiers uh, defending more medics right here that are working on this guy. And of course they're bringing out a stretcher to try and help him. Meanwhile, reinforcements are coming in from the back, slowly but surely, one in the jeep, and then a few men with rifles walking. The tanks for the mini boys are on the flanks over here. They presumably took out the jeep right there. Uh, and then we have a firing wall here with kneeling soldiers in the front and standing soldiers firing in the back. We do have reinforcements for the minis walking on in over here, getting pointed uh, in the right direction by their officers. And then over here we have another uh, Sherman tank on the right flank. So yeah, it is a very mini mock for mini army men. But I have to say, these are really fun. I, I think that a lot of the times we focus on realism warfare in this channel, but it's fun to go into the army men toy soldier realm of Lego. So for the giveaway, I am going to be giving away all of the mini soldiers featured in this episode. That means every color of the minis, as well as all three tanks being given away to you guys. Plus, I'm also going to be giving away all of these plastic army men here too. All you gotta do is hit the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below what your favorite thing you saw in this video was, or if you enjoy army men content as much as me. Really just comment anything. Either way guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below to enter the giveaway. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much. Also, if you guys want to join our private Minecraft server, all you got to do is join as a Patreon member, a Twitch sub, or a YouTube channel member. Once you've done that, you can message me on those platforms or on Discord and I'll whitelist you on the server. It's a great time. Feel free to join.